it. I went and got the layout of the pantry. land. Okay. <gasps> the pantry's a glass door! Oh, I see. It's not cotton candy. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I am Kristen. You gonna introduce yourself? She's always in her feelings. That is Kanaya. This is Wild Living Watsons. We are on our way to go see another set of modular homes today. Um, we've already went to Clayton Homes, and I list that video down below. Half a mile. Keep right at the fork to stay on I-40 East. Follow signs for I-73 North, I-40 East. I-73 North. Hold on. Okay, family, so we have made it. It's not what I thought it was gonna be, but we're gonna see what they have. Oh, and they're actually open, okay. So this first one we're going to see is the Logan. It's 1804 square feet. Um, ask AC, does he have my phone? I'm doing the outside of Poke the thing in. Poke the thing in at the top. <laughs> the kitchen is definitely nice. It is smaller than what we're used to, but it's really nice. It has a deep farmhouse sink. And look at the texture. Of the sink, it does have a lot of cabinetry in this one, and it has an island, and the island has a lot of storage on all sides. It's really nice, it's really nice. Open concept over there. It's a three bedroom, but like I said, that can easily be turned into a four bedroom if we need to. That bathroom is that bathroom is like a bathroom. And look, so this is. Of course, all the cabinet space, and then you have your mud room with the back door all set. You can do plenty of storage in here as well, and you have some back doors that go off right here, which you can build a nice deck. You have cabinet space on the side of the refrigerator, and you also have pantry space, okay? So let's see. Now, this is the master's bedroom. That room that I said we could turn into another room could definitely be for both girls, the two younger girls. This is the master walk-in closet. It's pretty decent, pretty deep closet. I really like it. You can do a lot in here. That's a nice bed. It is. <laughs> now let's don't eat the brownie in here. Okay, so this is the bathroom. This is the it is an offset tub. It's away from everything. Look at this. This is nice. I like the mirrors. I really want like a farmhouse style, but I kind of like how this bathroom is. This bathroom still gives you that modern girly. Sophisticated. Oh, look at this tub. That tub is get beautiful. And I love the window. I really love the window by the tub. No, you on your own land. Ain't nobody going to see you getting out the tub. You on your own property. Oh, no, I would leave it open. No, no curtains. Oh, yeah, man. And then the shower. I was still, and this, and you got a lot of space between the toilet and the shower. I like that because most toilets be like right up on the. Let me see. Uh -huh. Oh, no, activate that one. And look, y'all. I really like this shower. You like the ceiling shower? I like that. And it still looks good. I like this. Oh, this is a cool shower. This is nice. You wouldn't use what? Why you only get your hair wet? 
With the shower? No, that'd be the best shower to do. Like after you done got out the pool, you done had a long day, you know you finna wash your hair and stuff. I would Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's in here? Yeah. Okay. You have a closet door here. A bathroom here. This would be the guest bathroom and the kids' bathroom. That's still a nice bathroom. This is a spacious bedroom. Spacious bedroom. Deep closet. The only thing is if we turned that extra room into a bedroom, it wouldn't have a closet. That's the only downfall. But these are some spacious rooms. They really are. And I love carpet. I want carpet back in the rooms. How you like this one tonight? It's really cute. I like this one. I think all of them have porches, which is what I like. And look at the swing. You'll have to add your own, I'm pretty sure. This is the Carolina. I got my bonus child with me today. Is someone in here? Wait a minute. Is someone in here? This one is beautiful. Look. So that one has a closet. AC, stop. Stop. I really like this one. And look, y'all, my barn doors that I want. I really like this modular home. Okay, hold on. Kalina. Kamora. This is a barn house door to the living room area. And all from the living room, you have one of the bedrooms for the children. This is very spacious. You have the guest bathroom has a double sink, which will be perfect for the girls. A, a linen closet, the second bedroom, which is very spacious if we have to add the girls together so this one i'm guessing is going to be a four bedroom because it's three bedrooms over here on this yeah i like this one y'all and look at the double bathroom uh sink the double sink i like that oh this is beautiful okay i like how y'all room would be separate on this end of the house yeah. I like that. The pantry. Okay. <gasps> the pantry is a glass door. Oh, Kalina, can you hold this and record for me? Kaylee, brother. Look at this kitchen. Now, it's still got the farmhouse sink, but it's not as big. I would want that white one from over there. And it got double oven. That will be, yeah, that will be useful. Oh, it's a microwave. Look. Look at that microwave. Oh, well, look. Wait a minute. It can okay, turn so it into an oven. oven. No. Oh. That's the oven button for down here. I like that. Do y'all like that? Yeah. Oh, really that become so that. Not to choke everything out of your shh. And then little mini uh, windows down mini. there. I like this one. And that, they got cabinet space. They're beautiful, aren't they? They are. Really nice. I love it. It's a lot of cabinet space. Yeah. A lot of cabinet space. I love this sink. I love all of this. The only thing that I can say that I do not like in this kitchen is this. I don't want a glass top again. I don't like the glass top. I want a real, I want a real stove. That's the only thing. I want a real stove. But maybe <laughs> exactly. a real stove. Look at this kitchen. Oh my God. A real stove is ghetto. Come on. Y'all, this is the kitchen. I mean, can you imagine all of my canning? Can you get out? Oh, my God. Move it up here. And then the door is open. I love it. Oh, my gosh. All right, family. I love that the mud room has a sink. Anybody that knows me loves that. I love that little nook area. I would, of course, want four because of the kids. But this is a beautiful mud room that you can still store a lot of good stuff in. And then they have a linen closet here as well. And this is a little nook area where you can decor. And this is the master bedroom. This master bedroom looks like it's going to be big. It is. It is very, very big. 
I love it. And look at the closet. The closet has natural lighting. You can do all kind of videos in here. This master bedroom is beautiful. Look at this closet. Oh, now I will change those doors to barn house doors. But look at this bathroom, family. Look, you know how I am about those showers? The shower. It has the look. And look at the natural lighting. Look at this. The toilet is off in privacy. And the tub. Now, I will switch out the tub for the tub that's in the other bathroom. In the other house. But I love it. And it's a lot of space. A lot of linen space. A lot of linen space is what we need because we do not have that in the house we're in now. I like how these got like dens and stuff. The other ones had dens and stuff. Especially not, Kentucky. Not Kentucky them. had two separate ones. But not all of them. Just stop it. This is a three bedroom. <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't like all the cot. <laughs> Close that door. <gasps> but I really like Look at the bedroom. This is the master. I like the high look. My door, y'all. A barn house door. Dual sink. Look. Oh, and this this one actually has the master closet connected to the bathroom and it also still has a window for that natural lighting toilet is separate a lot a lot a lot of space and it has that shower i am loving these showers <laughs> so this is kind of tighter because it has the living space right here with the kitchen and it has like a ship lap fireplace so i do like that i really like that with the double doors living quarters will be tighter in here than what we have right now but that's fine because i like that it's more intimate and together i do like the farmhouse sink in the cabinet space this one has a stove I like this little nook area as well. And this one has a good walk-in pantry. This pantry is beautiful. Okay, this is the guest bathroom, kids bathroom. Okay. I know with that, uh, I know with that bathroom and the Shower head at the top. The keys are definitely going to be wanting to come use my shower. I really like this. It's a deep closet for a kid's closet. So far, the second one is definitely my favorite. This is a mud room and the last bedroom. I do, however, love all of these with these porches. I love the porches on these. This is Salem. Salem. It's very small and intimate. And look at the sink. Remember I told y'all I wanted a pot filler? I love that fridge. Oh, come on. I really. Look at the on this side. That's huge. That's a, look at the pot filler. It has a pot filler. I'm pretty sure I can get it put in some other ones too, though. A mud room with the sink. Pantry, another pantry. Is that updated? Hmm? This one is a little small. 
The bathroom is nice. Hmm, I like that little bathroom door to the shower. It's not. It doesn't have the. Oh, it does still have the up there shower head. Let me see. It's very spacious. It's very spacious. Oh, gosh. Sink's a little smaller. That's heavy duty. So let's go see the other bedrooms. There's another bedroom. It's very spacious. And these are some other ones. I'm assuming that's just not here. Have you gotten over here yet? Okay. So this one is a three bedroom. I really love this porch. The the Stanley like Carolina the Stanley is three. It even like has a porch on the side. I like the doors. Look, double doors coming in the house. Is this the master? Oh, this is a closet right off the master bed with the window. Look at these ceilings. It has two separate closets. And the sliding door. Oh no, it's not a sliding door. This is the shower in the bathroom. And now this one I like. This one is a two story. This one is a two story y'all. So this one is very, very spacious. Okay, so. This is a smaller room. With a pan shirt cabinet. Not cabinet, closet, linen closet. Another bedroom. And there's another bedroom here with a bathroom. Now that little room can be like an office space. And it is a small linen closet. So, so far, we got three bedrooms down here with a little yeah. office space. Upstairs? I haven't even been upstairs. The, there's actually a layout where you could lose some of the porch and actually make it a fourth bedroom instead of the office. The second level and I work from home, though, so that, awesome. that's that awesome. Work. Yeah. yeah. And this one is at, in a, it starts at the low four? It starts mid-four. More feet, mid-four? Okay. Mid four. Okay. Uh, on the second level, we've got an unfinished, but you okay. could potentially add Game room, gotcha. Upstairs. Okay. Okay. I hate I didn't get out here earlier. I love it. I didn't even know this was out here in Burlington. Had no idea until a friend of mine said, um, you need to go out there in Burlington. And I love it though. I really like the Stanley, but this, I like that. I like that. Right. I love it. I really love that pantry. Yeah, this, uh, one, this one, people fall more in love with the aesthetic. Right. The of yeah. I like that wraparound porch. Yes. Yeah. That's what yeah. gets a lot yeah. of people. I love that wraparound porch. To be porch. honest with you, though, uh -huh. Stanley, to do a second level unfinished, is less uh -huh. expensive than this house. Really? Yeah. Hmm. So you can get 2,400 square foot done and then have another, let's say, 1,100 square foot up top. Yeah. Yeah. And it would be probably what 33, 34. Shut up. Yeah. And I can get some of can get some of the features in other Correct. homes. You just not have to in be there. Exactly Shut up. Yeah, you can take cabinets, pillars from here. Yeah. You can get over there if you want. You can okay. take floors, any of those things. Okay. What's your name? Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, I'm crazy. So you could put a game room and another no. game room up here. No. What, what are we gonna do with a game room? And we 
she doesn't take it, that we can take the Caravana, the Stanley that we Stanley. like. She said you can take the Stanley and add a second floor to it. And it'll be cheaper than this. I'll let and you still have the same the costume. Time. You know what I'm saying? Like, really? what is this? Like, look at this. Oh, I didn't come like this. This could be the game room over like right here. Right here. Right, in that yeah. bedroom. This little like you have a lot of like I would put a bedroom on this side. No. Yeah. We don't need no big old game room. We don't we even the, bed, the game room. We be on our phones half the time. <laughs> exactly. I mean this is huge. Oh, it's not cotton candy. <coughs> it's a I'm sorry. I'm trying to enjoy Look it. at this. This is spacious. This is I love this, y'all. I really, really love this. <laughs> I love you. Oh, Lord, come on. All she had to do was go to the side. I like it. I'll push the door. I mean, I'll pull the door. Mama's music is just amazing. I'm better at putting it actually good. I think the cheesecake <laughs> one is just banana pudding with chunks of cheesecake. I don't know. It. It I is. Why. Oh. I don't know. After going to tour, we had to stop and get some banana pudding at the Peach Factory. You guys, it was so, so good. But anyways, about the video. So the lighting is horrible upstairs in the loft. I mean, it's kind of bright. It's too bright in some areas. But we ended up going to see the modular homes. And I would do a separate video of each home individually, the layouts, a little slower video, and telling you exactly how much that particular home is. Speaking with Jacqueline, they do have a YouTube channel. And she said that you can pretty much take any home that you want and make it your own so if it's things that you like in the other home you can add it to the home that you really like because i really like the stanley the second one but i like the upstairs level of the last one that was i think it was grenier i think that was the name of that one but um I really like the Stanley one overall, but I love the tub that was in the first one, which was Carolina Logan. So you can really just mix and match them. And I will do a separate video for you guys of the different layouts of the homes and what we liked in each one of them. I just wanted you guys to see like the little overall tour that we did. And come to find out the, with the modular homes, which I did not know, I thought you can move all of them around, but modular homes, you can't move around like you can the mobile home. So a modular home will be quite different. I really like them, but I'm also liking the barn dominiums. So we have different options that we can do. I want to tour some barn dominiums next. And we just have to sit down as a family and see what is the best thing for us i know right now going to the land we are going to do a mobile home that is going to make the most sense for my family because we can't do a modular home because we're not staying there we're looking for our own land separate so the tour will you know be great with the other separate videos i'll also do separate videos of each mobile home that i think that we like the most i'm really really loving kentucky but i also like pacific avenue how they have such a big opening space with the kitchen and the dining room and again i'll show you guys those videos as well broken down but i just want to make sure you guys saw the tour that we just did this weekend and i am just i'm excited i went and got the layout of the land not too long ago me and ac you'll see that video coming up we got the layout of the land and how we're going to start clearing things out and what we're going to put where so it's just i'm excited i'm really really excited about this it's getting closer i know it's getting closer but it's still far away because we have until november before we leave this property but i mean time will go by so fast that you won't even realize that you're getting closer and closer and closer so remember guys we love you and to keep god first and love hard see you in the next video